I want some coffee. I live in a camper. How do I make coffee in the camper? I'll show you. This is an AeroPress. There's a cylinder with a piston. I bought this at World Market in Oregon about two years ago. This is a filter holder. It uses paper filters that are cut precisely to fit that holder exactly so no coffee grains will leak out. It's good to pour a little bit of water in there to hold the paper in. So when you later turn it upside down, the paper doesn't fall out. Eh, a little sloppy. So I set that aside. Put that paper uh, back up there. Whoops, uh-oh. <laughs> and uh, I just hide it. Okay, anyway. So there's my coffee. It's a uh, cheap yacht gut coffee, nothing fancy. I'm going to add other stuff to the coffee later so I don't use anything fancy. But I might have some expensive gourmet coffee sometimes. This is cheap stuff. One scoop. Put the scoop back and we'll put the coffee away. I find one scoop's about the right amount for me. I pour water into a kettle. Make sure there's enough water. You don't want to have too little and run out. Turn on the gas and light it. Put the little bit in. And we wait. It takes several minutes for this gas stove to heat up that kettle. So I go off and do something else. Catch up on the news of the day. Maybe practice guitar for a couple minutes. And it keeps heating. I think we're getting close. Uh, uh, I hear a whistle. I might actually turn it off before I hear a whistle. Sometimes coffee is better if you're close to boiling and not at boiling. But like I said, cheap rot gun, it doesn't matter. So you pour the water into the cylinder. And... Stir it. That's a stir that comes with the AeroPress. Perfectly sized. You're not trying to beat it into a froth or anything, just a couple of swirls around. Filter goes on top, screws on with one hand. I'm using the other hand to hold the camera, so a few things are a little bit tricky. Get the cup ready. I let it sit maybe a minute or two or ten. But at some point, it's ready. I might not, might not wait at all. Then you push down on the piston, not too hard. You just want to push enough to squeeze the coffee through the filter. And there's air. That means you squeeze all the liquid out. When you hear the air, you stop. Shake off a few drops, put it down awkwardly because I'm using the other hand to hold the camera. Okay, so I've got some coffee in there, but it's a bit strong. What I do is I'll uh, pour a little bit extra hot water in there, maybe double the amount that's in the cup. Mm, look at all that steam. All right. So I've got the amount of coffee I want, more or less. Double check to make sure it's off. And... Honey, yes. I'll always put in a little sugar, honey, something. Usually not one-handed like that, but that's, that's not all. There's a little more. I've got some almond milk. Put a little, you know, I don't have any coffee creamer. I'll use cow milk, almond milk. <laughs> I'll 
and hard to do with one hand. Man, that is really hard. I need both hands. All right, so I got it open anyway. Put it a little bit like that. Coffee creamer, other additives, whatever else you like. And then oh, maybe a little cinnamon. And then, mmm, have a taste. And quite often it's got the right temperature, the right taste, and it's pretty good. And oops, okay, sometimes you can reuse those filters, but this one, <laughs> just uh, dump it all out. Coffee and grounds, man, it's awkward with one hand. Awkward. Okay, then rinse off the piston head, or piston face, whatever you call it, and put it back, we're done. It's there for tomorrow. And you're all set. And you drink up. Clean up, put all the stuff away, put the cheap rock good coffee back in the cupboard. Get back to work and I sip my coffee. Very good coffee.